Hey guys, it's Peter here, and today I'm bringing you another video on how to create your own Hamachi server. In this tutorial, I will be using a 1.4.5 server, but uh, you can use uh, whatever server type you want to be using. So, um, to start, the first thing you'll want to do is uh, download WinRAR Archiver. Um, this will be in the description. All the links will be in the description for this, and just simply follow them. So um, here you have uh, WinRAR, these are the ones you're going to want, 32-bit uh, or 64-bit. If you don't know which one to pick, all you need to do is click your Start button, Computer, Properties. And once this pops up, um, simply here, System Type, 64-bit Operating System, for me. Um, completely different for all computers, so I would simply download this one. 64-bit um, can run 32, but 32 can't run 64. Um, so once you have that downloaded, just make sure that it's selected on all types. And then uh, once that's selected on all types, you're just ready to install. Um, so once that's installed, the next thing you'll want to get is um, Log Me in Hamachi. Um, so just simply, this will be in the description too, uh, just download. And uh, you want to download Unmanaged. Um, so once you have that downloaded, uh, just crack her open, which is right here. Um, you won't have these. These are already ones that I'm connected to. So you want to make sure your power is on. So you'll just click that, make sure that's yellow. And it will go through while it's uh, connecting. And then when it sets up, you want to go to the network and create a new network. Name it whatever you want and your password, um, whatever you want. And once you have that done, just make sure it's on. Um, green light should be there if it's on. And you're all good to go from there. And your next step is to simply go to bucket.org. From here, you want to go get craft bucket. Then you'll come to this page. This is where you want to download your, um, your build. Your build is pretty much what Minecraft you're running off of. Some are compatible with others. Like if I'm running 1.4.5 Minecraft right now, you can still go on a 1.4.3 server. You can't go ones above, though, because of what items you're using and all that. So pretty much um, you want to do, uh, either get the craft bucket recommended build or if you want 1.4.5 which is not the recommended build right now you come to here on the side and also go to all downloads and pick the build you would like. So right now 1.4.5 is in the development stage. Um, so pretty much from there you'll get that done. And then you will drop her into your own folder whatever your server name is going to be. Um, it's easier to rename it to Craft Bucket, but you don't have to. But one thing you need to make sure you do is never ever put an extension at the S. Never do what I'm about to do. If I can get it. Never put dot jar or anything at the end. You never want an extension. You just want to leave it Craft Bucket. So once you have that done, all you need to do is go to uh, right click, New, Text Document. Or simply go to uh, Notepad and then um, save it into here from the following that I will show you to do. So you'll crack that open and then from here you'll want to go to here and whatever your operating system is, Windows, Linux, Mac, or uh, whatever you're using, you'll want to copy this and put it into your thing. The thing is, a lot of people will say this needs to be exactly like that is. This is craft bucket, that's craft bucket dot jar. If this name is craft bucket dot jar with any extension like I told you not to do, and this is craft bucket dot jar, you will have a problem. It will say unable to uh, unable to reach craft bucket. So um, you just need craft bucket and then this craft bucket dot jar. So once you have that, um, simply just go to uh, file, save as. This will be also in the description. Um, with the website actually will because this has actually changed. This used to be longer for other development builds, but it has changed. So that will be in there, and you just want to copy that for whatever you're using. So then you go to File, you go to Save As, and then you'll put it Start or whatever you want it. You could be Starter, whatever you want to name it. And you want to put an extension at the end of this, which is dot .bat. Um, this stays text documents, that stays there, and ANSI stays there. So simply save that. 
close that. A new text document, you can delete that. And then you have this. Simply from here, just click your nice start, and it will start loading your server. So congratulations, you just made your server, but you still got to play on it. So just wait for this to go prepare and spawn area and get that all, and then it will tell you that it's done here in a minute. Done. So then you want to go on Minecraft and actually connect to your Hamachi, because that server IP you will want to copy. So you want to go on your Hamachi here, and you want to copy that, just right click it, it will press copy. You'll copy that, and you'll go into multiplayer and just make a new server and there's mine so pretty much guys and logging in and that's how you make a machi server kind of landed underneath the water anyways guys that's it um that is how you make your own hamachi uh, minecraft server and um comment let, rate like and subscribe and also enter into my giveaway that it end, uh, ends december 1st it is uh, completely when your own um, YouTube, YouTube design, uh, watermark, picture, background, intro, um, comes with all that stuff. So if you're interested in joining, just, uh, give a subscribe, and in the comments section below, just, uh, write giveaway. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and catch you in my next video.